I'm Matt Kirshen. I'm Andy Wood. I'm a Brit. I'm an American. And it turns out that I have more trouble than Andy being understood by some of these things. Which writer wrote Westworld? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. So we decided to try out three of the top smart devices and figure out which one could understand the widest variety of access. We picked four different sentences which provide a variety of challenges for accents. And we're going to bring in a bunch of friends of ours and have them run through those four phrases on each of these three devices. We're going to play around with it a bit. We're going to get them to use the way they naturally speak. Maybe we get them to amp up the accent a little bit. By the end of this, we hope to be able to crown one of these as having the best ear. Hey, city. Do us a favor and add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. I've added it. It did You're it. You're bleeding great, city. Add Worcestershire sauce to my grocery list. You don't have a grocery list. That's true. Shall it's I create it's one? It's right. yeah. I think I could do that a little bit better for you. Add Worcestershire sauce to the shopping list. I've added it. Add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. I've added it. Add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. Perfect. I've added it. In one. Alexa, add Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> add Worcestershire <laughs> I don't know how to say this word in, in real life. I always say Worcestershire. I wasn't able to understand. <laughs> Add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. I put Worcestershire sauce on your shopping list. Add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. I've added Worcestershire sauce to your shopping list. Add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. Okay, I've added Worcestershire sauce to your shopping list. Thank you. Okay, Google, add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. Okay, I've added pasta sauce to your shopping list. Maybe even add more syllables to Worcestershire and see if Google will keep uh, keep going. Okay, Google, add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. Okay, I've added Worcestershire sauce. Sentence one was add Worcestershire sauce to my shopping list. Every gadget got something close to it. I've added Shire sauce to your shopping list. When was Benedict Cumberbatch born? Benedict Cumberbatch was born July 19th. <laughs> when was Benedict Cumberbatch born? Benedict Cumberbatch was born July 19th. July 19th. I found this on the web for when was Benedict.com by budget born. <laughs> Alexa. When was Benedict Cumberbatch born? Born on Monday, July 19th, 1976. <laughs> Everybody knows when Benedict Cumberbatch was born. When was Benedict Cumberbatch born? Benedict Cumberbatch was born on July 19th. When was Benedict Cumberbatch born? He was born on July 19th, 1976. <laughs> When was Bono Dick Cumberbatch born? July 19th, 1970. Benedict Cumberbatch. When was Benedict Cumberdict born? July 19th, 1970. It was impossible to get Google Home not to understand the name Benedict Cumberbatch. Wagadougou is the capital of which country? I don't understand. Oh, Burkina Faso? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. That is right. <laughs> Wagadougou is the capital of which country? Hmm. I'm not sure what you meant by that question. The country that Wagadougou is the capital city of is Burkina Faso. Wagadougou is the capital of which country? Here's a summary from Nations Online. Here's a summary from Nations Online. Wagadougou is the capital of which country? Here's a summary from Nations Online. Satellite view is showing Wagadougou. Can you do an impression of a thick German accent or what you sounded like when you were first learning some English? Wagadougou is the capital of which country? Here's a summary from Nations Online. Satellite view is showing Wagadougou. This one was set up to fail to, to begin with. I'm gonna admit that I hadn't heard of that city before today. Uh, is that my bad person? I had, but I apparently didn't know how to pronounce it. Which writer wrote Westworld? Westworld was written <laughs> by Michael Crichton. It actually felt that easier. Road. Which writer wrote Westworld? I found um, this on the web for which write out road, Westworld. Uh, we found it's the T sounds that are missing. Which writer wrote Westworld? Which Westworld? Yeah. Alexa, which writer wrote Westworld? Hmm, 
I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Sorry, I couldn't find any theater named Rider Road West. Which writer wrote Westworld? Hmm, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Wanna just try it again and uh, maybe just, like before, maybe just hit the T's really hard? Which writer wrote Westworld? Westworld's author. Oh! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> okay, Google. Which writer wrote Westworld? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Which writer wrote Westworld? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. Westworld's screenwriter was Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton. So which writer wrote Westworld was a problem for a lot of people, and I think a lot of it comes down to that DT sound. Alexa, which writer wrote Westworld? She couldn't take it, she shut down. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> We set out to figure out which of these three devices was the most versatile in terms of understanding lots of different accents. Yeah, all of these devices have things that they're better at and worse at than the other ones, but when it just comes to understanding how different people say different sentences, I think it's clear Google One, followed by Siri, followed by Amazon. We also learned that Google Home is pretty outstanding. But the big winner today is obviously Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. Okay, Google, when was Benedict Cumberbatch born? July 19th, 19th. <laughs> okay, Google. When was Benedict Cumberbatch born? Benedict Cumberdict born. <laughs> July 19th, <laughs> Thanks for watching, and let's see your attempts at not saying Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs>